Uh, there was another story that I want to make sure doesn't get forgotten. Now, this one's about a judge who was, let's say, a bit too cavalier in his sentencing. 20-year-old swimming star Brock Turner could have been looking at 14 years for sexually assaulting an intoxicated and unconscious woman behind a dumpster on Stanford's campus. But instead of 14 years, a judge has ruled Turner will only spend six months in jail, eligible for parole in three months. Hold on a second. It's 14 years or six months? Those are the two options? There's got to be something in between, like, like 13 years, maybe? <laughs> or 13 years and six months? <laughs> what am I missing? Gosh. Or, or, what the f was wrong with 14 years? How about that? <sighs> so, anyhow, the judge said he understood the devastation the victim suffered. Uh, but that the prison sentence would have a severe impact on Brock. <sighs> yes, because if anyone isn't supposed to change after a brutal attack, it's the attacker. <laughs> Brock, man, we're gonna lock you up for a bit, but promise you won't lose that rapey side we love so much, all right, man? <laughs> don't change, man, don't change. Now, in California, the mandatory minimum for this type of case is two years, and a judge can sentence below that. But why would he? The judge's reasoning? The rape carried, quote, less moral culpability because Turner was drunk at the time of the attack. That's a defense? Was this judge drunk at the time of sentencing? <laughs> How does, guys, think about this. How does too drunk work as an excuse for any crime? Sorry, I committed that DUI. In my defense, I was drunk. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. Drunk should never be an excuse. My coworkers still haven't for forgiven me for the drunken crimes I committed at staff karaoke night. <laughs> right? Still paying for that. Now, it could be that the judge may have been swayed by a letter from Brock's daddy in which he wrote, That is a steep price to pay for 20 minutes of action out of his 20 plus years of life. I smell almonds. Am I having a stroke? <laughs> 20 minutes of action? He describes rape as action. Okay, I've said this before. There's a reason why we have words, okay? And those two words are not the same. Only the most horrible type of human scum would say something like that. Action? Not to mention, you would be the worst movie director ever. <laughs> All right, everybody, quiet on the set, quiet, and rape. Okay, that's good. That's horrible. I know, I know. True. Sure. Um, Actually, uh, actually, you'd be tied with Roman Polanski and Woody Allen, but... <laughs> but, but Action Dad wasn't done. I was always excited to buy him a big ribeye steak to grill or to get his favorite snack for him. Now he barely consumes any food and eats only to exist. Who gives a f***? <laughs> Oh, the poor little fella. Is the rapist too raped out to eat steak? <laughs> okay, here's what really gets me about this, guys. It's 2016, and this is the best we can do about sexual assault? I mean, this is exhausting, you guys. Like, take this mother who I haven't forgotten about, right? <laughs> right? Okay. He's accused of over 50 actions, and we can barely get him into a courtroom. He sees it making his way there through the metal detector. You're not blind. Open your goddamn eyes, you fake blind mother <laughs> You're not. Yeah. But anyway, I just think as a society today, I just think we have to find a way to do better.